Hello everybody, I'm gonna make a, a refractive shader using shader graph and it's gonna be unlit. I already made one which is uh, lit, it, it, it have uh, uh, obviously the shadows are the shadows of the normal sphere, not something refractive or whatever, because that's not gonna be possible, but um, it's it has this reflectiveness from this uh, wall and uh, it casts shadow and light um, and I'm gonna show that later but for now I'm gonna make something like like this uh, refractive uh, shader using shader graph which has an index of refraction something to control how much refraction um, yeah so let's jump into it uh, obviously, you need uh, Unity 2018.1 or later, and this is in um, lightweight uh, render pipeline only, which supports uh, shader graph. All right, so we start by right-clicking, create shader, and unlit graph. Right, you can call it uh, unlit refractive. Double click and we will have this thing. Um, ooh, so we are gonna use the data that, that we uh, get from a, a reflection probe and do some uh, refraction on it, if that makes any sense. Uh, so we are gonna start with a reflection probe right and the the out is gonna be the color this you will save now and let's go back and make a, a material that has this shader so we're gonna make a material refractive mat right I'm gonna create a new sphere I'm gonna make it bigger and grab it. Oh, set it to zero. Get it here, and I'm gonna assign this to it. Right, so now we can see the reflection probe, which is this one, the closest one that this is inside. Right? It's kind of. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully. So this is it. Uh, and then we need to do some refraction on it. First thing is we need to connect the normals of the uh, of the object in I think it was here geometry uh, normal vector. Yes, so it's going to be in world position. Okay. Uh, and the next thing. Okay. So I will put. Uh, we need the view direction, which is the, the the vector coming from the camera to the object. So we'll put it here. And it needs to be in world, uh, world direction, uh, world space. And it's going to be in world space. And we need to do, a, 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 we need to refract this vector now let's see if, if I just connect it right now it's still same right so I need now to refract this vector 
by the normal of the object and there is a reflect node but they didn't do a refract node till now so I made one which is really simple I'm gonna show the code of it it takes the view direction and the normal direction and then we put it in this one right and it has the index of refraction so for, for it so uh, I, I'm gonna make a vector one which is basically a float and it's gonna be a slider between minus one and one and I will connect it to the index of refraction so we can change it from the inspector now we have this thing and we can change the the index of refraction from here to have this is no refraction this is what the the probe looks at and you can have uh, some refraction like this if you want or you can go all the way back to this And so it's worth noting that we are taking the, uh, the data from the reflection probe which doesn't see the, 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 these ones, right? The, if, if I have multiple uh, balls of the same material, we shouldn't... Well, right now, let's, let's see, if I, if I make one here and take it this way, and then this reflection probe, if I refresh it, then I will have... Uh, I will have, I should see I should see these black balls which are uh, these these balls because um, the, 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 the you can see here oh well it's, it's actually not there that's the shadow right so this, I already did this uh, this step, which is that um, the culling mask doesn't have the ignore ray cast, right? If I add it, then you will see all these black ones. Um, I I I I removed this ignore ray cast layer, and I put these on on that layer on the ignore ray cast layer. Which means that this probe does not see these objects because if if it, if it does, it's gonna render them as black, which is uh, not good. It's not gonna show up basically. If that makes any sense. Right. So that's the basic idea of the refraction. Uh, I didn't show the code of this one yet, so. To make a new node, you can check the API of Unity, obviously. If you search on Google, you will find it. Um, to use it, you need a C-sharp uh, script, which looks like this. Title, the, what's the title of the node, and where, it's, where it is between the, the, um, the menus, and it needs to inherit from code function node. Uh, you will set the, the name in this function and I, I pretty much copied everything from the, the examples that they have I changed this one to be the vector one because I the, the, the index of refraction is a number right and uh, view direction input vector 3 normal direction input and the output is a vector 3 as well uh, you need to add this because it's gonna make an error if you don't and then this is the shader code refract is a, a function uh, up, um, refract is a function Where are you? Ah. so refract refract is a function by the CG um, program um, from HLSL uh, you just put the the, the, the vector 
and the uh, that is coming and then the vector of the normal and how much uh, refraction you want and that's the output and so when you when you put this code this script with this code you will have this node in custom and then my custom node you can name it whatever you want but yeah we can add a normal map a texture normal uh, to to add some some outside texture to the, to the refractivity and so we can uh, create a texture node um, we can actually create it here immediately texture uh, let's keep it as texture we can put it here and then here we will have it as this one and set it as normal yeah and then we need to um, let's bring this one like this we can close this one and then we have normal blend and so we will blend this with this and put it in this one let's save that and let's go back and add this texture and voila you have it here you have it So you should probably turn off the shadows for this ones and for is it this one for these two as well. Okay. And let's refresh that. Uh, okay. So that's it uh, for the uh, for the other one this one for example let's check the map for it it's a bit more complex but it's the same idea here is the uh, the, the, the normal uh, I did this so so you can turn off you can use this variable to turn off uh, the the normal from the texture or have it I mean you lurk between them and then uh, these are the same and what I added is um, an intensity or a tint color to to what's coming from the reflection probe so we can change its color I added also at another texture which uh, which is um, which is also tinted to the uh, to, to what's to, to, to the refractive image um, and we can make it as a as a as an emission uh, just two nodes for the sm specular and smoothness and um, these are for tiling and offsetting the the normal map and the texture and that's it so this will give you more options um, for uh, let's say you can put it uh, more as this is this is obviously the uh, reflectiveness so you can have it like this you can uh, go with less smoothness of reflection um, you can have less or more uh, normal map dis uh, distortion you can have uh, emission with that you can have uh, tint 
forward scanning so you can make it like a blue water thing and you can play with the, til the tiling and offsetting and stuff and that's pretty much it uh, you can find all of this hopefully I am, I'm gonna add these uh, I'm gonna have them in the asset store um, but uh, so if, if if that happens I'm gonna put them in the asset store and I will put a link in the description and right now I'm just gonna put them in uh, github and have the link uh, so you can download everything and work on that thank you for watching